good morning today we are discuss budget classities the budget many types or uh, many classes wise available the first the classification of budget in the more important the government activities in the national economy there is need for the organization of budget data on expenditure and revenue in such a manner as to bring out their full economic significance from the perspective an idea of budget classification is meaningful since it gives information on government operation and provide the form and structure necessary for analysis and policy making the four or five types classification the first of the financial uh, sorry the functional classification three types of function in budget this type two is said a functional classification budget second organizational classification which types the organization or what types or the what condition in budget is the organizational classification or object classification a nation or a state which type object to to succeed or follow this type to estimate revenue and expenditure this type in the object classification budget fourth economic classification the economic classification means the which situation in economy for example rapid economic growth expansion infrastructure facility or any other or which types aim to succeed or follow this type to government revenue expenditure this is the economic classification budget and last the program performance classification the which type program implement in its state these types to estimate is the program performance classification in all classification budget in deeply in short the first the functional classification the classification the classification of budget item according to function is a classification of general transactions on the basis of their purpose it is a scheme for classifying the purpose for which expenditure is incurred from the point of view of those connected uh, of, sorry of those concerned with seeing the public money is spent of the best advantage this types second organizational classification it is a classification of the budget according to the organizational unit of the government like the department of the ministers this type of classification can be easily done on the expenditure side of the budget but it is now difficult to do so on the revenue side the object classification this classification is the device to control expenditure at the departmental level it is a great technical step forward in budgeting since it permitted the 
installation of government accounting system which could be linked with the budget account and thus limit defect defect defectation fourth classification of economy it is a classification of government expenditure and receipt that the economic categories that are significant significant or analyzing the short run effect of the government transaction in the working of the economy last program and performance classification a performance budget is one which present the purpose and objective for which fund are required the cost of the program proposed for achieving this objective and quantitative data measure the accomplishment and work performance under each program this type in the budget classification the next point the budget process involved the first stage they are the formulation which means making advantage estimate of revenue and expenditure by the executive second authorized refer to the approval by the legislation third the implementation means a process of the disbursement and collection of fund by the executive uh, and i the post mortem which point to the responsibility of both executive and legislative then future of the budget the union budget so statement of the receipt and expenditure during the coming financial year from march to next year february it is the presented at the end of the february of the current year the budget of the central government is divided into two parts first the revenue budget and second capital budget the revenue budget so the revenue receipt and the revenue expenditure as under the revenue receipt the revenue receipt means revenue receipt means incur annual fund of the government without increasing any debt obligation for example receipt from taxation of the non tax revenue such as registration fee etc and the revenue expenditure the item of current expenditure which reduced the unsable fund of government without reducing its debt obligation are included in this these are item of the current expenditure and not use the creation of the double capital asset these express are made out the current revenue receipt this revenue expenditure is expenditure on existing residual of service it consists of the expenditure on consists of the expenditure on administration and defense and also payment of interest of the public debt second the capital budget the capital budget cover these item which are concerned with acquiring and disposal of the capital asset for example for the expansion of the present level of services the capital receipt those receipt which incur the usable fund of government but also increase the debt obligation borrowing both the internal and external are shown is this account other debt obligations incurred through various saving scheme are also included this capital receipt increase the debt obligation of the government on which interest has to be paid annually until the debt is a repaid capital expenditure on the other hand in the covered with the acquiring the capital asset for example for the expansion of the present level of the services it comprises of the social and the community services such as the education and health 
and on economic services such as the agricultural industry, power, transportation, and the communication. Uh, ideal fiscal management requires the revenue surplus should be available to the financial capital expenditure. If revenue is not enough to finance expenditure, it may lead to budget deficit. The next point, the different types of the budget deficit. There are three types of budget deficit for uh, deficit. The revenue deficit, budgetary deficit, and fiscal deficit. The revenue deficit means the revenue is revenue deficit is equal to current revenue minus current expenditure. This is the revenue deficit or current revenue greater than current expenditure. This type the revenue deficit. Budgetary deficit. Budgetary deficit means the total received minus total expenditure. This is the budgetary deficit. Then the total received less than total expenditure is the budgetary deficit. The all cost include this receipt and expenditure. This situation is not to in a revenue or capital receipt or expenditure, but totally. To a total receipt or government total revenue and government total expenditure is the budgeted deficit. The fiscal deficit. The fiscal deficit means the revenue plus non debt capital receipt minus total expenditure. Then the government revenue and non debt capital revenue greater than. Uh, sorry, less than total expenditure. This is fiscal deficit. This types of budget here to uh, the illusion example of budget in year 2011-12 to all students remember which type to set or the which type to establish the budget. This is the example here and the total table. We are to revenue receive. Capital receipt, what type the total uh, revenue receipt, the tax revenue, non tax revenue, capital receipt, the here rec uh, recovers of loan, other receipt, borrowing, and the other liabilities. This is the re revenue of the government. And, uh, and uh, expenditure, this type, the which type the expenditure has the government to the on revenue account of which the interest payment on capital account, final expenditure, and total. Uh, and uh, revenue capital account. This is the plan expenditure. Here is the expenditure. In the total expenditure is here the revenue expenditure on which the grant uh, creation of capital asset. Which type? This is the given by our present. Is the table the which type to the our budget to establish? Yeah. This is the uh, in in normally information to all students the which types of budget, budget deficit, etc. Here, the balance budget. The balance budget means the tra traditional approach. The budget was the look upon as an accounting device to balance the revenue and expenditure side of the budget over a year. The traditional idea is the sound budgetary policy was to avoid deficit or the surplus in the budget. Or uh, government revenue is equal to government expenditure. This type, the level two side, left or right side. To in the balance sheet. For example, as a government income is the 1000 crore rupees, so here the government expenditure 1000 crore rupees. Here the balance of the two sides, this is the balance budget, is the uh, classical view uh, and uh, the classical economics to more and more focus to in a balance budget or surplus budget, not in a deficit budget. But today, every new economist or traditional or uh, today, every economy or uh, every strength accepted in a deficit. Budget. The argument in favor of the balance budget the here the under the theory of the sound finance classical economics the power, however in the balance budget in the sound or of finance due to following reason the like the individual budget and government budget should also be balanced. Second, the budget is the on balance the government has to borrow the government market borrow. The causes reduce the local fund available in this activity. 
are the on balance budget uh, they generate the in inflationary or deflationary pressure or uh, the on balance budget causes economic uncertainty and uh, promote instability and last the series of the balance budget implies the increase in the burden of rising taxes or the public debt and uh, in the argument against the balanced budget this is the main point it is the wrong if the compare private budget with the budget of the government second it is the very difficult of the have the balanced budget in the practice because the economy is very dynamic the public expenditure have been rising to meet the various requirement of the modern economy third the government also has some social and economic objective such as full employment stability and growth with social justice which is not possible under the balance budget and next the budget uh, balance budget does not have an empirical evidence or prove its efficient in the fiscal management and last the budget should aim in the con counter budget balancing market value instead of the big natural in impact this the uh, in a drawback of the balanced budget uh, the the fin functional finance and on balanced budget we the public as the professor takes the general theory published 1936 the concept of the sound finance has been replaced by the functional finance it is now universally accepted that in the budget need not a balance from year to year but is the balance over in the longer period of time this in the functional budget is the functional finance is the public finance is not merely and the instrument of the rising financial resources of the state but it has also to perform sir other important function of the state the function of the public finance are the different in the development and developing economy where in the developed countries its objective is to eliminate cyclical functional and the maintain economic stability in the developing country the functional is to give in the field to capital formation and the economic development the on balance budget is to two types the here the types of the budget in the surplus budget and the deficit budget here the surplus budget is the surplus budget when the estimated revenue or the year are greater than greater than anticipated expenditure the government expected revenue greater than government proposed expenditure this type is to in the surplus budget here the government revenue is high or government expenditure is low the here the surplus budget this type and second deficit budget the deficit budget one where the estimate government expenditure is more than the expected revenue so here the government estimate revenue less than government proposed expenditure the government revenue is less or government expenditure high this type budget is a deficit budget and present type every state accepted a deficit budget that uh, here the according to professor has dalton in over a period of time expenditure Exceed revenue. The budget is said to be the unbalanced. Five deficit amount is generally covered through public borrowing or withdrawing resources from the accumulated reserve surplus. In a way, a deficit budget is the liability of the government as it is created in the burden of debt or the reduced the stock of the re reverse of the government. This time, the development of the country. A to more and more to accept this type of budget. Here the two types of budget: the surplus budget and deficit budget. Here and the here the second point is and and next this unit or public finance in the first unit in the last point the fiscal policy. The what is fiscal policy or what type of the fiscal policy instrument in economic? is this types so here the fiscal policy the fiscal policy is the one of the important macroeconomic policy it is the policy of the government with respect to accession public expenditure or the uh, uh, the debt program 
so as to achieve certain pre-determined socio-economic objective. The term the fiscal has the derived from the Greek word fish means in the basket of the symbolized of the public purse for fish. Thus, the refer to the treasury fiscal policy that were meet in the policy which are related to the treasury, treasury of the government. Fiscal policy has both qualitative and quantitative dimensions, change in tax rules, structure of taxation, and its incidence influence and the volume on the direction of the providing spending in the economy. Similarly, change in government expenditure and structure of the allocated will, will also have qualitative and redistributive impact on, the, on income, consumption and aggregate demand of the community. As the matter of the fact, the government spending is and the inducement in increase the aggregate demand and has an inflationary effect. This time, <coughs> the classical economics believe in the principle of the sound finance and the budget balance budget. The tense for the first time emphasis on fiscal policy. He, for the first time, stressed the need of the government intervention, inter intervention and the advocated an unbalanced budget. Following Keynes, happy learner, give to concept of the functional finance. This it is the Keynes who prophesied in the interest in the fiscal policy. The according to according Ms. Ursula Hicks, the fiscal policy is the concern with the manner in which the different element of the public finance, while still primary, primarily on con, 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 connection, uh, consentment with crying out there on duties as the first duty as the tax is to raise revenue they collectively in a greater to forward the aim of the economic policy. This time, the main objective of fiscal policy, so here the main objective of fiscal policy the effective mobilization of resources. The every state has in the resources available to give a nature or to artificial this nature the more the more effective to fiscal policy, the principle of the fiscal policy to ensure rapid economic growth and development. The object of the economic growth and development can be achieved the mobilization of the financial resources. <laughs> this is the more important. For example, here the taxation. That though, uh, though effective fiscal policy, the government arm to mobilize resources by way of the direct taxes as well as the indirect taxes because most important source of the revenue mobilization in India is the taxation. <coughs> Public service this time and the private service is the more effective to in a fiscal policy. Second, objective the efficient allocation of the financial resources. Here, the central national government have to try to the best efficient allocation of the financial resources. The resources are the allocated for development activities which include expenditure on the railways, infrastructure, etc. While non-development activities include expenditure on the defense, interest payment, subject, etc. This is the uh, effective allocation, allocation to the more useful in the fiscal policy. This is the, the reduction in the inequality. Of income and wealth, the fiscal policy aims at achieve, achieving equity or social justice by reducing income inequality among, among different sectors or different sections of the society. The direct cases such as the income tax are charged more than the rich people as compared to lower income group. The indirect tax is also more to the cases of the same, semi luxury and the luxury items, which is the mostly consumed by the upper middle class and the elite classes this time and next the price stability and control of the inflation one of the main objective of the fiscal policy to control inflation and stabilize the price therefore the government always aim to control the inflation by the reducing fiscal defect reducing tax savings scheme and a productive use of the financial resources this time to win a set in a <laughs> stability or the control inflation condition and employment generation the government is making the every possible effort in the increase in employment in the country through the effective, effective finance 
fiscal measure investment in the infrastructure of or as research in the direct and indirect employment employment yeah, lower taxes and duties on the small scale industry don't encourage the investment in the consequently generate for the more employment okay. and next, the balance regional development the another main objective is the fiscal policy to bring about in the balance regional development there are various incentives for so the government put the setting up project in the backward areas such as the cash subsidy, concession, the taxes and the duties eh, in the, from the tax holiday, financial consumer interest rate, etc. Reducing the deficit in the balance of the payment. The fiscal policy attempt to encourage more export, export by way of the, fish, uh, the fiscal measure like the ex, ex, Exemption of exemption income tax on the export earning, exception of the central exercise duties and custom, etc. And the foreign exchange is also present uh, preserved. The foreign exchange is also preserved by providing fiscal benefit to import subsidy, industry, importing control uh, duties on import, etc. This type to in reducing the deficit balance. Uh, of payment and next rise in the capital forms in the national income here the objective of the fiscal policy in india is also to increase in the rate of the capital formation so as to accelerate the rate of the economic growth and underdeveloped country is that is trapped the victim uh, circle of the poverty mainly on account of the capital deficiency in order to increase the rate of the capital formation the fiscal policy must be effectively Design to encourage the saving and discard the spending. This time, the instrument of the fiscal policy, the here, first the taxation, the direct indirect taxes of the public revenue or the government revenue. This is the first instrument of the fiscal policy. This time, that here, the direct indirect taxes, for example, corporate tax, personal tax, income tax, etc., indirect fiscal tax, custom tax, and duties, the national duty. This is the government revenue. This time, to the public revenue. Public expenditure. The public expenditure is, <laughs> is, is the one of one of the tools of the fiscal policy, the government expenditure. The government expenditure is the spending. And it categorized in the following way in the purpose of the goods and services, payment of the wages and the salaries of the government, transport of payment, and public investment, net interest payment, any other any other the point to the a government expenditure is the possible or the more delay to the financial resources. And last the public debt. The public debt the public debt include the short term of the long term borrowing the government, internal, external, uh, internal. Public borrowing is also the important fiscal tool for the mobilized saving in the government and it is also in the short term non inflationary method to financing government program as public debt directly money saving to the uh, saving to of the people of government security. This end is the, uh, the inflation and uh, and uh, relieve the inflationary pressure. Moreover, the resources so realized by the government can productively invested for the creation of the economic and social overhead capital. The internal borrowing, the internal borrowing the, the government authority, central, state or local government body, the, in the private corporates and means the treasury bills and government, the non-banking finance institutions such as the insurance, the companies, private, mutual fund, etc. and commercial bank and the government by the creating the additional money is the borrowing from the central bank or the subsidiary tenth is government in the form of the advantage by the in the new money. This type in the internal debt. The external borrowing, the external borrowing government also borrow from the foreign countries is the necessary the purpose, defense equipment, more import capital, <coughs> goods, and such the machinery equipment and technology. Now, the foreign countries like USA, UK, Japan, Germany the de are for the developmental scheme and the financial assets they import. The uh, international organization like World Bank, IMF and the marketing borrowing, uh, this different from the borrowing have the different effect of the economy. It, it is, it is therefore the necessary of the choice that the sources of the public borrowing carefully keeping in view the
the overall mission objective is type in the external goal. Next, for the direct uh, deficit financing, the main instrument, the deficit financing, the main source of the revenue of the government of the tax revenue and non tax revenue, when the total estimate has been exceeded of the aggregate estimate received during a year, the gap between the two is to be in a field by the word is called as the deficit financing. The deficit financing does refer to the financing of the excel expenditure over the total revenue received of the government during a year. The deficit is equal to total public expenditure minus total public revenue. India the deficit finance is the financing of the, the deficit through the advance from the Reserve Bank of India only. In other words, it refers to the financing of the deficit in the budget through the creation of the new money by the RBI. The, when the government is the developing country, take uh, the responsibility of the commodity economic growth. It has the complacence or the luck of the private investment through the function of the public sector. This kind is a growth need as public investment which cannot be fully met in the taxation and borrowing alone. So the government has to resort to the deficit financing. It is com commonly held the deficit financing may lead to the inflationary raise in prices since deficit financing increase the total money, sur money supply in the economy without, ex ex without corresponding production of goods and services causing price to rise. But developmental deficit increases the production in the future and if the inflationary effect is uh, neutralized over in the period of the time due to the function of output. The here, our fiscal policy is 